Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're just going to be looking over my uh, wish list that I have on Steam. It weans and waxes with games. When people uh, ask me to look into a game or a friend says, oh, I want to play this game, I tend to add it to my wish list and I do a little bit of research on it. And then I just wait until it comes out. And if I'm really interested in the game, I'll do pre-videos on that game itself before, you know, before a release date. So I've got some understanding on how the game is. I mean, I do a little bit of research, do some videos on it, and then I got my foot in the door at least before the game releases or, or on launch day. So with the majority of these games that are in my list, I have done that. I've done a little bit of research. Uh, and some of these fell into my list because I wanted to try them. And some of them fell into my list because a friend recommended them try them. Uh, so the first one is Starfield. Obviously, you know, that's going to be a big one. It releases in September. And, you know, as you know, I don't really like single-player games, single-player campaign games. I like to play with a multiplayer aspect of uh, the games that I play. Uh, in this situation, it's a, it's a PvE game, a single-player game. Uh, it still looks like it's going to be amazing. Now, Redfall. Now, I've got some mixed feelings about Redfall. I probably won't buy it out of the gate. It's really expensive. And, uh, and if you go to the discussions page and, and read, maybe we'll go to that next after we go through this list because that game's got me concerned across the board. Now, Nightingale, I'm um, really looking forward to Nightingale. That looks like a cool concept, uh, and uh, that's coming soon. It's going to be an early access. Now, Passed Out, uh, I don't know why it's still here. Actually, let's go to their page here and remove that. I hated that game. I played the demo, and I couldn't see why on earth anybody would want to play that game. I, I just, I, ne I didn't like it. I, I, it just was not appealing to me. It's just another Battle Royale clone with a stick involved, like zombies attacking you at the end. Uh, it just seemed no, it, no real thought went into the building of that game. I just did not enjoy it. I know it's got a lot of positive reviews. Now, the, maybe because they added something since I last played it, it just seems silly that everything... Things were just scattered all over the map, and the only helmet you could wear was this big red uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer uh, helmet that just made you stick out like a sore thumb, and then the whole concept with the zombies and the Battle Royale, and as you guys know, I hate all Battle Royales. I just don't get them. I just don't understand the, the appeal to them, but that's just probably a generational thing, you know what I mean? I beta tested and alpha tested Fortnite when it was a campaign game and you would uh, you would be fighting against the husk uh, and it was basically a tower defense game and then they rolled in the battle royale and gave up on the campaign part because the battle royale took right off and and Fortnite does the battle royale right and that was why I'm thinking well why would anybody want not not want to just go play Fortnite I mean it, it just that's the way I looked at it so moving on Arc 2, I'm really looking forward to this one. It hasn't been announced exactly when it's going to release, but it is going to release. Uh, the Blue Protocol, now this is going to release in 2023. I am really looking forward to this game. I actually have done a little teeny, teeny bit of research of the game, but for what I, under, uh, what I understand of the game, I, uh, I, I definitely am going to be all in with the Blue Protocol. It looks like it's going to be a good time. Small Lands. And this one ended up on my list because a friend recommended it to me. I have probably no intentions of ever buying the game unless they get dedicated servers or public servers. Uh, it's a peer-to-peer -peer connection system. Uh, they've done a different way about doing it. I just still don't understand why people are still making games that are peer-to-peer -peer connections. Uh, they should be a dedicated servers. There should be public servers for the game. And the other thing about when I went into the game and looked at the reviews uh, early on, the reviews really scared the heck out of me because a lot of the positive reviews were basically people repeating the same stuff over and over again, which I understood was what made the game unique and, uh, and, and interesting to play. But a lot of the negative reviews actually pinpointed aspects of the game. It was like the positive reviews were ignoring some of the flaws to the game, where the negative reviews seemed to be all conclude. You know, they were all concluding that parts of the game were a problem and they had yet to be resolved. And so I'm going to wait 
if I ever buy the game, I probably won't. Um, that I'll wait for public servers to come out or have a, a server pack uh, to come out. Now, I, I wanted to get into Sons of the Forest. It's just that uh, so many games came out when Sons of the Forest came out, and it just I just never got to getting there. So maybe I will get there eventually when I have a null time in my uh, gaming, when I've got things on my plate that I'm doing, because everybody knows uh, that follow my channel that I'm going to be playing Diablo 4 in June. And that's going to eat up a lot of my time. And then we can talk about Diablo in another video. And I will, because there's a lot of new information that's come out for that game since I last beta play, play, tested it. So I've still got that on my list. Uh, so it's there. Now, Minecraft Legends, I was interested in this uh, game uh, early on when I was following it. And then I waited for it to release. And then I started reading the reviews. And honestly... I'm going to go in here and I'm going to un -wish list this because uh, based on what I read in the reviews, it's close to being a dumpster fire. There's some people that really love it, but they're, the people that really hate it have valid reasons why they hate it. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. When it, it's got, it's got a quite, it had quite a few reviews. We're not just talking about 11 reviews. We're talking about thousands of view, reviews that people made, and it's in mixed. So that tells you what you need to know. Okay, so the Ars Notoria, I've been following Ars Notoria. I'm going to be into this game a lot. I mean, once it releases, it's going to come out into um, uh, a test demo phase very soon. And I'm going to get into that game. It's a PvE experience. It's multiplayer, dedicated servers. It should be a good time. I've done plenty of videos on it. And then the last one here, I've done plenty of videos on Riven World. I actually own Riven World, so it, so it doesn't really need to be my wish list anymore. And I've put hundreds of hours into Riven World, and I would, I would uh, actually recommend... Uh, it's got mostly positive reviews. I would definitely recommend... Uh, how do I take it out of wish list here? I guess uh, they don't have it nicely here because I already own it. Uh, but it's still sitting in my wish list bucket. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I don't mind it uh, being at the at the bottom of the bucket there. Well, let's. Uh, I did say I wanted to go in the Redfall real quick. I know this was just supposed to be a, a video on Tarkus's wish list, but it's in my list. Uh, here it is. Uh, it's coming May first, so very soon. And like I was saying, is they want Diablo money for this thing. Like Diablo Four asked for this kind of money. And these people are asking for the same kind of money. I mean, that's what I paid for Diablo 4 was $100. And then if you go... And what makes me nervous... I really want this game to work out and succeed. And I really want uh, it to be a, f a fun experience. But when you go to the discussions page and read people's comments who have been following the project for a very long time, and every single time you read one person's uh, opinion or or their post, you read it and you're like, yeah, they got a point. And then you read another one and another one, and they all are nailing the same hammer on the same nail. And and one of the big things is it's too much money for what you're getting. And part of the, I think it's peer to peer. I think that was well. Uh, let me see here. I think um, there's a co-op part of it, but I'm not sure if it's dedicated servers. I think it's peer to peer. And like I was saying. I don't really like peer-to-peer um, -peer content. I might be wrong about that. And the game always has to be online for you to play it. Imagine that, paying $100. I mean, Diablo, obviously, you got a Diablo Fool, you got to be online because that's the type of game it was. But imagine play, buying a game like this that is really uh, PVE-oriented and, and campaign-oriented and not being able to play it if your internet goes down. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm still following it. I'm still looking at it. I might pull the trigger on it. It just makes me very nervous right now with all the people that I've been I've been going there maybe every couple of weeks reading what people are writing, seeing if there's anything changing from the developers, uh, addressing some of the concerns that people have. The always online thing seemed to be a big sticking pe point for people. The the price tag seems enormous for what the game is. I, I don't know where they came up with the seventy dollar, hundred dollar price tag so yeah some of these games i'm going to leave in here i'm not going to diss small land survival of the wilds it's just that it was 
for me, I don't like peer-to-peer uh, -peer connections. I need a, I need a, a dedicated server. And as for Sons of the Forest, maybe I'll wait for that to go on discount. That has very positive reviews. People really love that game. It's just that I've been playing and, and testing so many games. And Ribbon World has, has kind of sucked a lot of my time um, only because, you know, not in a negative way, but it just sucks a lot of my time uh, for testing because they're updating the product like daily. So I'm daily going in there and testing what they're adding and then um, still addressing some of the stuff that they haven't fixed yet. So it's, you know, it's a, it's, I spent a, a good part of time, my time the last few weeks in Riven World. And then I've obviously been playing Meet Your Maker. All right, well, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my list. And if you find yourself having a similar list, you can try to reach out to me or reach out to me and uh, see if we can uh, team up in some of these games, uh, especially Diablo 4. If, you, if you're playing Diablo 4, then uh, reach out to me and we can team up. All right, well, thank you for joining me. This is Ben, The Darkest Zone.